My name is Stina Persson and I'm going to talk to Annette Bolin about uh, empowerment, participation and inclusion. Um, well, hi, my name is Annette Bolin, as Stina just said, and um, I work here at University West as a lecturer and a researcher. And as Stina said, we're going to talk about empowerment, participation and inclusion. And the way to talk about that will be actually to give you an example from <coughs> when I used to work as a social worker. I used to work with stock car racing uh, as a kind of um, intervention to help young people between 14 and up to stop to commit crime or to stop to take drugs or to um, yeah, have a better life. Uh, so I will tell you a bit more about this stock car racing project which we will also show you some kind of film clips so that you can understand what it is like okay? okay so the main concepts in this discussion is empowerment uh, participation and inclusion and I will start with the concept of empowerment which is basically uh, you can view from an action point of departure or um, an analytical point of departure and I will mainly use it as an action point of departure how you can act to empower people in social work and it's basically to give someone the authority uh, or power to do something to help people to feel that they are empowered to decide for themselves um, uh, it could be geared towards groups or it could be geared towards individuals and in this car racing project it was geared towards the individual young person and their family and it's about to take control of your own situation and it's also about the process in taking this control and by participating in this uh, stock car racing project the young people learned skills in such a way that they could um, complete their education or they could um, help friends mending their cars or their mopeds and things so they learned a lot in this particular project uh, and also in this uh, stock car project we were collaborating with the community in the sense that the local stock car racing club was involved and they provided volunteers who were very skilled mechanics and they could also teach the young people to become skilled mechanics themselves and stock car racing in Sweden is a kind of a sport which is very cheap compared to other car racing sports which also meant that if a young person been involved for many years they could stay there for years doing this stock car racing uh, they could also continue to do this uh, sport activity themselves after they finished uh, in, in the social work um, uh, intervention program. Uh, we also had private companies who were involved uh, which also gave the young people good social contacts and maybe some future employers. So empowering young people by teaching them how to do car racing and how to to mend cars also uh, actually gave them uh, certain skills to complete their schoolwork in a higher degree too. And, 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 and one, one thing we had, for example, if you committed a crime, you had to clean the toilets in, in, this, in this car project. Uh, and if you did not commit a crime, we would clean the toilet. Uh, and and uh, the staff was me as a social worker and uh, volunteers. Uh, so that was the empowerment bit in this, in this car project. Yes. And how about inclusion? Well, inclusion, I think it's, um, it's, a, it's a bigger thing in the sense that uh, inclusion is to feel a part of something which is bigger than yourself. For example, you can feel included in, in society, being recognized as um, a valuable member in society. Uh, but uh, in this car racing project it was more about the inclusion bit was more about being an ordinary member in, in a free time activity club uh, like this car racing club and by 
what we did was that uh, you were both involved in the social services kind of uh, intervention, but you also became an ordinary member in the, in, in the car racing club. Uh, and in that sense, we wanted the young people to feel included in society as anybody else. And it also meant that we um, participated in the club's ordinary activities and that also meant that the young person felt that they were recognised as everybody in society, sort of a thing, yes. But I also think with inclusion it's important to think about the concept of inclusion in, yes, inclusion into something bigger than yourself, but also inclusion to what? Sometimes the, uh, the society might not be the so society you want it to be. So, so we were quite sort of uh, tried to make that the young people should feel included in society, but at the same time we were also critical towards the society that not everybody wants to be included in an unfair society, for example, or um, in a society who just value the people who uh, can contribute with the work fair, for example. So we had these discussions in, in this garage too, you know, what kind of society is it, yes. And why is uh, empowerment and inclusion and participation important for engineers? Oh. <laughs> That was a tricky question. <laughs> Maybe looking at the car, this car project, uh, which is a lot about engineering and in the sense of, of mechanics and construction, because stock car racing is like uh, what you do is that you race with the car and you crash it and then you, then you fix it sort of a thing and you need to, to, to plan that and participation in to, to be able to be allowed to make decisions, I think, could be interesting for engineers because if you plan a project like in this with these young people, uh, for example, we'd be using the Hearts model of participation in the sense that you might have a token participation. It's like you just invite people so that they can. It looks like they are involved, but they are not. It's, they, not, for real. it's not for real. All the way up to where you actually invite people, like we did with the young people, on top of this ladder, they were never allowed to make any real decisions actually, but they were allowed to, 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 to participate in the sense that should we be racing next weekend or not? Or should we, what colours on the cars for example, that would the young people decide by voting because the red and yellow was like our team colour when we were racing. So there are different levels of participation. And I think for engineers, when you're planning community projects together with people, you can use this ladder to see in what way you invite the people from the community to take part of, of the project you're planning. Yes. How can we conclude this? Well, I think that uh, the concept of empowerment, participation, social inclusions are very useful tools or can be very useful tools for for uh, if you're planning a community engineering project for example so that you can make this project worthwhile for the people who are living in the community so that they are using it i think that's that's how we can conclude this thank you <laughs>